In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning, type 11, figure rotation. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we have a question figure. And this question figure can be rotated in any angle and can be rotated at any direction. It can be either rotated clockwise or it can be rotated anti-clockwise. So our job is to find which one of these options is a rotated form of the question figure. So let's start by finding the obvious errors first. So let's have a look at the question figure. In this question figure, we have five shapes. We have a larger square on the outside and we have four smaller shapes on the inside. So we have a triangle, a circle, a star, and a pentagon. These are the four smaller shapes we have inside the square. So if we find any of these four shapes different, so if they're different color, or a new shape is introduced, or if they're pointing in the wrong direction, then we cross the option off. So let's start with A. In A, the triangle is pointing away from the star, and the pentagon is pointing away from the circle. But over in the question of figure, the triangle is pointing away from the star, which is right, but the pentagon is pointing towards the circle. Since the pentagon is pointing in the wrong direction, we can go ahead and cross off A. So let's move into B, and let's do the same thing once again. Triangle is pointing away from the star, which is right, because the triangle is pointing away from the star, and the pentagon is pointing towards the circle, just like here. So B is fine, and we can move into C. Triangle is pointing towards the star, but over in the question figure, the triangle is pointing away from the star. So therefore, we can also cross off C. So let's move to D. Let's do the same thing once again. The pentagon is pointing towards a circle, just like here. Pentagon pointing towards a circle. And the triangle is pointing away from the star, just like over here. Triangle is pointing away from the star. So D is also fine, and we can move into E. In terms of E, if you look at E, the triangle is pointing away from the star. Yep, just like over here. And the pentagon is pointing towards a circle just like over here. So E is also fine. Out of the five options we started with, we managed to cross off A and C, so we're now left with B, D, and E. So once we managed to cross off the obvious errors, we can then rotate each of these options in our head. So let's start with B. In B, let's rotate B so that's at the same angle as the question figure. And once you do that, B is a mirror image of the question figure. Because over in the question figure, we have the triangle and the star on the left hand side, but over in B, they're on the right hand side. Because in the wrong position, we can go ahead and cross off B. So let's move to D. In terms of D, let's do the same thing. Let's rotate D so it's at the same angle. And as you guys could see, this is also a mirror image, because over in this example, the circle and the pentagon in the question figure are on the right hand side. But over in D, they're on the left hand side, because in the wrong position, we can go ahead and cross off D. So we're left with E, which means it must be our answer, but let's check. Let's rotate E, and when you rotate E, you can see they're all at the right place. The triangle's at the top left, circle at the top right, the pentagon's at the bottom right, and the star is on the bottom left. Which means E is our answer. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right, and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.